hello friends today we will see what is an armstrong number and uh, how to find out whether a number is an armstrong number or not so is 153 an armstrong number let's see yes it's a armstrong number so you might wonder how to find it out so let's see first we need to understand what is armstrong number so an armstrong number is a number that is equal to the sum of each of the individual digits that make up the number raised to the power of the number of digits the number has. For example, here we have a number 153. It has a 3 digits. So 1 to the power 3 plus 5 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 equals 2. We have to find out the answer. So 1 plus 125 plus 27 equals to 153 which is equal to the original number. So if the number uh, gives the answer of this calculation equals to the original number, then that number is an Armstrong number. So now here we have 12, which has a total two digits in it. So one to the power two plus uh, square of two equals to five. So five is not equals to the original number 12. So it's not an Armstrong number. So same with one, six, three, four, we, 1 to the power 4 and 6 to the power 4 like that we've uh, calculated the answer so that is 1 6 3 4 which is equal to the original number so that is Armstrong number so this way uh, we can find the Armstrong number so here we take an example assume that number which is passed by the user is a 153 so it is same like a uh, reverse number and uh, uh, a little code is same like reverse number and palindrome number so remainder uh, is equals to 0 and total sum is 0 and uh, original number equals to number which is 153 because we are going to use this original number to check whether the original number is equal to the sum of all the calculation which we just done here you can see here so we have to find out the sum here and we also have to check that sum total sum equals to the original number so that's why we have assigned that number to the uh, variable name original number and uh, we also need to find out the length because if now it has a three digits in uh, 153 so that's why 1 to the power 3 and 5 to the power 3 if it if it was 15 only 15 then it would have been 1 to the power 2 plus 5 to the power 2 rather than to the power 3 and 5 to the power 3 like that so that's why we have to find out number of the digits in that number so for that purpose we have taken this uh, variable and in that we have to uh, find uh, we have to uh, run a loop that number of times for example here we have a 3 digits in this uh, number so that's why we have to find out the 1 to the power 3 so that's why we have to loop uh, execute this loop 3 times so that's why we have to find the number of digits in that so and we also have to uh, add the sum of that all power we which we get so here number length uh, equals to number plus I just uh, converted that uh, integer number into the string to get the number of uh, digits in that so that's why 153 is uh, 3 will be stored in number length because it has a 3 digits and original number equals number we assign as I told you to check here so while number is greater than 0 like reverse number same uh, code is here so power sum equals to 1 because we have to find the uh, factors factorials of that uh, number so here i equals to 0 number length is 3 so this loop will execute uh, 3 times so power sum is a 1 as uh, you know it's assign 1 at the beginning it is a 1 1 multiplied by remainder that will be 3 so 3 into 1 uh, will become uh, 3 so 3 will be stored in the power sum again second loop will execute that time it will be 3 again 3 into 3 9 again uh, last uh, loop will execute 9 multiplied by 3 will become 27 so here we got a 27 answer so uh, it uh, loop will uh, yeah, control will come out of the loop and uh, total sum we have assigned total sum as initialized as a 0 so 0 plus power sum that is 27 so 27 plus uh, 0 will be 
total sum will be 27 so number divided by number by 10 number equals to number divided by 10 so number was 153 153 divided by 10 it will become 15 so uh, again expression will be uh, true because 15 is a uh, greater than 0 so again power sum will assign as a 1 remainder that is 15 mod 10 will be 5 remainder so same as we did with uh, 3 1 multiplied by 5 it will be like uh, executed like uh, thrice so we get a uh, 5 to the power answer of the 5 to the power 3 like here so we get 125 and 125 plus total sum the previous value of total sum was 27 and that was the value of 3 to the power 3 so both will be added and total sum will be added in this that is 152 okay and the last 15 divided by 10 uh, will be 1 number will be assigned uh, uh, assign a value that is 1 and 1 is uh, greater than 0 expression uh, value is true so power again sum will be assigned as a 1 remainder 1 more 1 that is 1 1 more 10 uh, 1 will be assigned to remainder and after that uh, 1 will be you know as like we did for 3 and 5 1 to the power 3 uh, will be calculated here so answer obviously will be 1 so here uh, last time we had a 152 plus 1 that will become 153 and 1 divided by 10 0 so 0 is not uh, greater than uh, 0 so expression will be false so the control will come out of the loop and here original number as we had assigned here number equals to original number that was 153 and total somewhere as just we calculator uh, in this logic that is 153 so 153 equals to 153 become true so the 153 is an Armstrong number so this way it gets executed I have written a program to find out the Armstrong number so this is a method is Armstrong number uh, parameterized method here I have passed 153 and uh, same logic is used as I have just explained you can see here so now I will compile that code okay now we'll run as you can see 153 is a Armstrong number let's change 153 to 15 let's see whether 15 is an Armstrong number or not see 15 is not a Armstrong number so in our example we have taken 1634 right 1634 so let's see whether it is an Armstrong number or not yes 1634 is an Armstrong number so this way you can uh, find out whether the number is an Armstrong number or not and uh, if you have a better logic or any other logic than this please uh, comment below and uh, you if you want to put some validation over here yeah obviously you can put validation here and also as user to input from uh, command line so you will have to write code here using uh, scanner class object and you can ask user to input from the command from using that scanner class object that's it thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe for more videos